welcome to the bread kitchen. In this video I'm going to take the sourdough rice starter that I made in my last video and use it to make some absolutely delicious sourdough rye bread rolls. So for this sourdough rye I've got 300 grams of strong white bread flour, 150 grams of rye flour, this is my sourdough rye starter and a teaspoon of salt. Now I made my sourdough rice starter simply by adding together equal volumes of rye flour and water and letting them ferment for a few days in a warm place. We'll start by putting the flours and the salt into a bowl and mixing them together. Now weigh out 380 grams of the sourdough starter. Then we'll add in 90 grams of water. Looks good. Then mix these two together. Then add the mixture into the flour. Make sure you get all the mixture out because the hydration ratio is important here. Then mix together to a nice dough. Now it might seem that this is never going to come together into a complete dough, but give it a couple of minutes, keep working it, and I'll show you what happens. There we are, a minute later, and it's all come together into a nice soft dough. Now pop the dough on a lightly floured surface and knead it for about 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes of kneading, you should end up with a nice soft dough. It isn't sticky, it is soft, and it's certainly springy. Now pop it into a lightly oiled bowl. Cover it and put it in a nice warm place until the dough has doubled in size. There is one more thing to do and that's top up our sourdough starter with equal volumes of rye flour and water. And give it all a good stir. Then just pop the lid on loosely and pop it back in the fridge. After about three hours in a warm place my dough has roughly doubled in size so I'll just turn it out. Knock it back to get the air bubbles out. <laughs> Smells lovely. Now I'm going to knead this dough for about five minutes. Now the dough will be certainly very soft and quite sticky as well. But not sticky enough that you actually need to flour the surface. Now once you've got your dough you can do what you like with it. You could make it into a loaf, a round loaf or pop it in a loaf tin. I'm going to make six rolls with this. So I'll just weigh the dough and then divide it into six equal pieces. Make each piece into a nice smooth ball when you've got a piece of the right size. So I've now got six equally sized balls of dough. Now I'm just going to flour this part of the surface, otherwise the dough will stick to it. Take a piece of dough, squish it out to about six inches long, now when it's six inches long, just roll it out a bit until you've almost got a square of dough. Then fold the top third down, the bottom third up, roll it over, then press it out again, try to keep it about six inches long, and roll it out into a square and fold the top third down again and the bottom third up. What we're trying to do here is get the gluten to kind of stretch around that way so that it makes a nice envelope for the roll. And we'll do it just one more time. Fold the ends under, give it a little roll. Then when you're happy with the shape, it should be about six inches long, take it and pop it onto a well floured baking tray. And we'll do the same with the rest. Now the rolls need to be reasonably well spaced on the baking tray to give them room to expand. Now you can either cover them with film or I'm going to pop them in my trusty plastic bag. And then I'll pop them in a nice warm place to prove. After a couple of hours the rolls have risen really nicely. So prior to baking I'm going to cut a couple of long slashes into the dough. And now I'll bake these in the oven at 200 degrees centigrade fan oven, 230 normal oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. After 15 minutes or so they'll come out this fabulous golden brown colour. 
slice them in half lengthways and put in your favourite fillings. They're like mini hoagies or sub rolls really and smell absolutely fantastic. It makes quite a filling lunch. I hope you enjoy making your sourdough rye bread rolls and do join me next time in the bread kitchen. Thank you.